out. Hey everybody, it's Chan Chai. Um, uh, we're doing uh, league matches with uh, KDQ Bushido. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, earlier I was practicing in uh, a Kumite room with numbers where everybody was fighting numbers so he would always be the player regardless of when I lost. Really good uh, shout outs to numbers. Sadly his, uh, his third dog has uh, passed away um, last night. So you know hearts out to him. He's handling it extremely well and uh, he's playing VF awesome but you know big hearts out to him. That's just it's a hard loss. And so uh, we hope he's doing well. Uh, Katie uh, Bushido set up this room. It's great. Nice. Very nice. Very good. All right, I've lost every exchange. Good job, Blaze. I am not feeling his pace. He's being very, he's playing slow, which is a good thing to do, actually. Don't let your opponent dictate pace too much, because uh, that is where momentum lies, right? It's if you're dictating pace, so sometimes just killing pace is a good thing. And so what I, do, so if I can get a hit and I can lock him into decisions that are based on frames. That's one way of doing it. Try to do a couple of things there, didn't quite work. Very nice. Very good. Very good. So, Blaze might get take this whole thing, yeah. The weakness of doing that string against me is that, stuff like that, I'll get a free loan in that situation. Okay, put a lot of ring out pressure on them. Ring out is a core part of Virtua Fighter, always really, really important to utilize it. Um, it's best when you're learning the game to just embrace that it's a part of the game. Um, a lot of people always hate it, but the thing is, is in this game you'll get rewarded for being able to keep your cool even when your back is slivering out. Um, you know, I fortunately I got to develop those skills in BF3 and BF4, and so you know I think since Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution, I have I feel like no pressure when my back is slivering out or even to the wall. Uh, a little bit to the wall, so my weakness is the tendency to evade away from the wall, and you can totally use that against me usually. Um, but if I'm sharp enough, then I'll be dealing against, then I'll know how to fight that, and I'll even use that against you. So um, with the wall, less is that's an option. With ring out, there is no option. So with. The ring out situation is very scary. You have to really utilize a block or proper defense, and you have to abide if you really think they're gonna go for a throw. Um, or, yeah, because there's a lot of throws that can throw people out of the ring. And like, even if they escape, there are throws where the throw escape will get you out of the ring too. So it's really, really tough decision making. have to be very careful against Taka on this stage. Even though this is Leon's stage, Taka is so scary on this stage. And it's hard for me to see it. Like, I know it's coming, but I have a hard time seeing it. It looks like, looks like he's gonna knee. That sucks, because I just tap down. So, excellent round. Excellent round machine. I am just working on the matchup though, so it's good stuff. That was really good. He just waited and then threw. God. 
that was bad of me. Combo. Like, I did neutral for some reason. Neutral is the thing I'm not supposed to do there. Beautiful. He went with the low attack. That was actually probably the best option to use there. Um, it just didn't register in my mind. I have a habit of waking up and then wanting to back this thing. I just, I just told them the awesome games, excellent decisions on the last two rounds. Yeah, yep, that's what happened. Yep. Awesome game, excellent decisions on the last two rounds. Thank you. Round one. Thank you. Had a Ready? Crazy thing. Awesome to have you, dude. Look, it's Kyle. Awesome to have Kyle here. Nice. That was such a good opening option for that. David Blaine, good to see you. Alright, let's do this. Round three. Ready, go! Good game, Kyle. Forgot to train, eh? Good to see Justin name here. I do like fighting them a lot. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent Justin name.
knucklehead. No, no problem at all. Very good game and no worries. Um, but I just want to let you know that uh, it was a good, really good battle. And I'm, all, I'm really happy to see you on BF. And, um, you know, I'm glad you're out here with us tonight. Awesome. Awesome. Um, great to hear you got fiber optic now. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you're on fiber optic. Guaranteed if that second one hits like that. Holy crap. I still don't understand some of the stuff that's happening here. That's awesome. Okay, so we gotta start. You can't use the punch options, that's okay. Keep it up, uh, Kyle, and also um, don't ever be discouraged from the losses. Build on the losses because um, just playing lots and lots of matches is important because it improves your sharpness in the game. And sharpness like helps so much. Um, it's not that you have to be super reactive to everything because that becomes bad too. Um, especially if you become reliant on reacting. But, um, but it's just being able to snap each option is so cool. It's such a good feeling. Playing this game at a very fast pace, but then also playing it at a slow pace. It's really good.
too safe for the air. Good game, Carmen. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Even if I was close enough, you would have killed him with that. Good game, Thunder. Alright, killer, killer. Always fun to fight. Hey Jaden, Daddy's playing in the league right now, but this is gonna be the one of the hardest opponents. Hey boy, awesome to see you here. Very good. I'm surprised he doesn't do the kick counter at that point. That was so beautiful. Oh my god, I hit a button. I hit a button so it, it tracked. It's so slow that I hit a button and that tracked. Perfect. That was really good. Wow. He punished the low with that. Awesome game. That was really good. Blaring, really good to see you. So that was a really good match with Killa. Totally earned, and he gets his clean sweep 7-0. So he came up with really good solutions. Really, really good solutions. So, I do like the way Justin Name plays. Um, he's got a very fast free flow style, and I think he's definitely influenced from other 3D fighters. Um, but um, he's a he's a person who actually, he to me, he seems like he actually has pretty good instincts and like feel. But um, but you know, so that's why I like fighting him. Um, 
I haven't seen them play VF in a while, so I'm, I'm saying that based on how they played, like, maybe a year ago. Uh, I think it's been maybe a year since I've actually fought them. So... Hey, no problem. Rest well, man. Rest well. And, um, awesome. I, I would love to love to see you in the Kai's lobbies. Uh, you know, anytime you want to play, let me know. Um, and if you ever want to work out the matchup. That said, I am very mean to Jackie in the matchup, so you did awesome. Um, and that's mainly because I attack his strings. Like, if he, if he tries to do strings, I'll mess with him. Um, and then after that, so then it's kind of a battle of zoning and certain mix-up tools. But yeah. But man, awesome. I, I'm looking forward to more battles with you. I've always enjoyed fighting you, both your Jackie and your Wolf. And uh, any character you want to bring. Rest well, my friend. Numbers doesn't, <laughs> Numbers doesn't have enough Kage opponents right now, so... Have a good night. <laughs> Good battle. Just the name and numbers had a very good battle. I think numbers does need to train against Kage more um, to optimize his damage against Kage. Uh, just the name is just back into VF, so you know, give him like a week or two, and I think he's gonna have like these crazy, like genius plays that he does. <laughs> you know, like a year ago, that's what I remember from him is he makes some. He's got like that aspect that Chibita has, which is he's got some creativity, and he kind of see he feels he plays on feel. And, so, and if his feel is dead on, then he does some pretty cool stuff. Does he have a lot to still learn in VF? Absolutely, but his feel is good. Next time I see Kyle, I will have to ask Kyle how how, um, how things are going with Smite. Smite is an awesome game. It's an MMO that's um, third person perspective, and um, the theme of Smite are, are gods, gods of different different regions. So it can be Greek gods, Asian, Chinese gods, you know, um, Norse gods, all types of gods, even Jesus. I think I, I don't know if Jesus is a, that's a different fighting game, um, but. Uh, Smite is a, is a MOBA, and it's a really good one. It's the last, like, it's the most successful third-person MOBA, right? Um, there's another awesome game called Paragon, which I really like, but, or at least I like the direction it was heading in, but it just, unfortunately, um, the game we imagined it to be wasn't the game at launch. It, it would be much more closer to when it, like, a year after it come out, but it, by then it was too late. Um, you gotta make all that impact when the game is new. But, um, so Paragon did not survive, but Smite has survived all these years. It's been, gosh, 10 years, it's almost 10 years. Um, yeah. I love watching like, the way Killa Killa fights numbers. I need to learn from it a lot. Especially, actually, watching Killa Killa fight people will teach you a lot because Killa Killa is always 
Kilika practices, studies, and does a lot of correct answers. And plays very safe. So that's just a reading round. Make use of the reading round though. But also be aware that it's a reading round. Man, that spacing still. Like it's hard to you can't exact space that it's gonna punish you for doing that. He's like no hopping. He's used to fighting uh, Paul and uh, Setsuna as a carry. So he won't allow those hopping anyways. So this is where he's going to apply his reads. That or he's just really slow or like he's distracted right now. Playing slow is really rough, except that you should just throw people. If, if people play slow, you need to throw, but they're scared if they can react to that. That's odd because that, that elbow should have won. <laughs> I like game. <laughs> See, I thought I'm better. I told him it was a battle of the waiting. <laughs> so. Round one. Ready? Go. Dang it. That's what the presentation is bad. It's just trying to do my stance checking. So Leon has to stance check the elbow punch, and I'm starting to get better at seeing it, so... I cannot... it looks like a knee to me, so it's like, crap.
So I will tell Bushido he needs to side roll, mashing guard, and punch. Start with guard, then alternate. Hey Punker, it's going good. Uh, the, it's going good. This is a nice, good uh, training matches tonight. I think um, I'm managing my calm better. I think I'm, I'm making some. I'm, I'm trying to feel certain options out better. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Hunker, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a good week day. Oh, he's got to do the kick there. There you go. I wish you could play, but I understand. Excellent. That was really good, Dusty. Really good. Alright, let's do this. See, there you go. Excellent, excellent. Glad to hear that. Good battle, Dusty. Awesome. Good to see you, Jim Batter. Um, Leon, I love playing Leon. <laughs> so, and also, Human Hunter, good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, 
I, I hope you'll play with us, you know, we are happy to help and... Uh... Nice. Very good. Use it up a bit. Good use of the throw. That was smart. That was awesome. Nice dragon punch kick just made. That was awesome. Thought I could 4P that second hit. Understand, Jim, better. Uh, gotta deal with life first before before fun and games, and you know. And if it's about having a console, then uh, yeah, taking care of everything else, then getting a console. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the lobby opens up in between. Um, let Bushido know you'd like to get in, and he'll make sure you get in on the next league. Uh, I'm gonna send my kids to bed after this league though, and then, um, yeah. But, um, when this, but, uh, let, let, uh, let him know so he doesn't insta-start the next one. But yeah. Awesome. Those are really fun characters. Very explosive. Just, so right now he's just trying to read. Man, that was good. Good patience from him. He didn't. He didn't do it. good he went for the low punch now I can do stuff after that though that is really good that he got that excellent choices
knucklehead. I have a Hey, Jaden. Don't worry, I'm almost done with this. When I'm done with, uh, I think I got one more, two more matches. Yeah. Maybe one more. Okay, one more match. After my next match, we can uh, we can watch Naruto real quick before bedtime. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Um, Dead or Alive is such an awesome, awesome game. Awesome series. And actually, in this generation, I'm I, because there's a lot more online presence and stuff. I, I really like seeing the. I mean, we had it in the VF4 era also. A lot of Dead or Alive players coming into Virtual Fighter, but with uh, this game, we've had a lot of Dead or Alive players because of what happened to Dead or Alive 6. Um, but because of that, I get to see what they bring to the table, and I think I understand at least Virtual Fighter more nowadays than I did even back then. So I can really see what. The Dead or Alive players bring to the table, and they they forced everybody that's playing Virtual Fighter like at rank 40 plus to have a way better neutral game than, than what some of us had maybe 10 years ago. Uh, because they just, you know, Dead or Alive is a game where you have to make so many critical decisions in a neutral type of environment, and it's really scary uh, for a VF player. A lot of VF players like to rely on the frame on set frames. And uh, we really had to improve our, our neutral game just in the past year because of because the Dead or Alive players that are really good that um, use their Dead or Alive skills very well in this game. I'm sure it feels restrictive for a lot of the Dead or Alive players because the. It's probably an easier read than what the VF players are used to. Because for a lot of VF Western players, the neutral is awkward, right? Because it's like this sense of whoever hit the button first is like the winner. That's not really true. And there's, you know, but there's like a lot of technique involved with the neutral. And some decision points or how to, how to make it more favorable for you. And I feel like the Darrow players showed us how to do that. Ooh, I need to, I'll take a look at DOA 6++, that sounds cool. You know, I love I love what fans do to a game uh, when they just, you know, have a deep love for it, but, but maybe a lot of people wanted um, certain things out of it, so that's awesome. Looks like I'm guaranteed, no, if I lose, uh, then uh, Killa Killa will probably take first place. Keep it up, Blaze. I do like fighting Blaze. He's he's really scary because sometimes he comes up with a brilliant option. Really messes me up. I love the ring outs, but that's but there's a reason for that too. I think nice. Oh, the tension that the ring outs give is a, is a wonderful thrill for me. Good battle, Blaze. What a knucklehead.
So I'm going to send a raid to Bushida's Twitch because I'm going to spend time with my kids. Um, but this was a lot of fun. Um, and so I plan to train more tonight, but I'm going to watch some anime with my kids and then send them to bed and then uh, it'll be fun. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raid um, Bushido because it's always a good thing to do. But yay, I won this one. Did I do... Let's see how did I do. It's clean sweep, right? Yay, I got a clean sweep. Okay. Alright, my daughter is such a sweetheart, so I am incredibly lucky. That's it. See you later. I I plan to be on later, but thank you very much for the support. Everyone have a good one and enjoy. Um, let us send uh, let's do a raid on Bushido. So let's let me double check. Doesn't raid. Come on, Twitch. It says it used the raid. So funny. Twitch's raid feature is like always buggy though. Know? Ready? Go! My my daughter is like giggling about this fail on Twitch's part here. So probably not okay. Mommy wouldn't be happy with that. It's supposed to be earlier. Like at the end of the night, it's not to ask for any kind of sugars, even if it's only a little sugar. Okay. Anyways, I'll have a good one. Please do watch KDQ Bushida or Numbers. Thank you so much. Let's see how Justin uses. Really nice. 